What's up, guys? It's your girl, Hey Frenchie V. Come kick it with me. What's up, OG gang? Welcome back to another video. I'm excited to be here filming for you guys. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you know every single time that I post. And go ahead and give this video a like so it can circulate to like-minded people. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my TBR list, my to be read books of the summer. Well, I don't know if I'm going to finish these all in the summer well it's only 10 so i probably will <laughs> but i just wanted to share this list with you guys if you guys have any recommendations for me please feel free to leave them down in the comments i am a reading girly i'm in my reading era again so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video let's get into it okay so the first book that i have on my tbr list is i did a new thing by tabitha brown it's about the art of doing something new to expand our mindset and our way of life and sh learning how to spread that love to others so that they can also try new things as well um, the reason why I have wanted to read this actually this is one of the my current reads I just started it like yesterday I'm doing the audiobook though um, but the reason why I was interested in this is because I read Tabitha Brown's first book or not her first book but the last book I don't know if it was her first book or not honestly I love Miss Tabitha Brown so I was like okay let me see what she's talking about in this one let me get back into it I enjoy her first one and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna enjoy this one um and I just want to get back into like my self-love books a little bit um, coming up now. So yeah, that's why I decided to get this a read. Hope you guys can check it out. Um, and yeah, if you read it already, let me know how you felt about it in the comments. My next book on, my, on the list is called Curvy Girl Summer by Danielle Allen. It's a story about growth and reclaiming your life despite what others may want for you it's about standing in your power and accepting where you are and the fact that only you can change your life it's a slow burn romance but not really a romance more so a journey to finding um yourself and doing it unapologetically so i was interested in reading this book in because i love a good romance book i went into it thinking that it was going to be a romance book but then i looked at some reviews of the book and stuff like that and they really saying that it's more so a self-love journey into discovering yourself standing in your power despite what people are telling you to do and i was like okay i'm into those type of reads i love women and um the main character is based in her 30s and i love books with women in their 30s or just the characters in the book being in their 30s i don't know i just find it fascinating so yeah the next book is called the black girl survives in this one by desiree or desire s evans um it's an anthology meaning it's several books and one book by different authors um each story is horror based and at the end each black girl survives in their own way and learn how to gain a little more strength and power within themselves it has a little bit of caught in it a little bit of monsters a little bit of body snatching and a little bit of slashers um i have wanted to get into reading this book because first of all the cover is just beautiful it drew me to it i didn't know that it was going to be multiple stories in one until i read up on like what it's about um but i wanted to like expand the categories that i usually read in and i'm a fantasy girl so i'm like okay maybe i'll be interested in this horror given that it's so many different things in there and so many different like um horror things so i'm gonna give it a try if you read it already let me know how you feel about it down in the comments um but yeah give it a try the next book on the list is the good ones are taken by taj mccoy it's a friends to lover um, trope about a girl who went through a bad breakup and starts dating again and all of a sudden her male best friend confesses his feelings for her um, it comes with good laughs good cries and introspection um, so I love me a good romance book um, I'm more of a enemies to lovers type of girl but um, I love me a good friends to lover, especially if it can make me laugh and just make me feel like I'm having a good time and experiencing what the character is experiencing. And they said that's what you get from it. So I'm going to give that one a read. That'll probably be next after I read Tab of this book. But yeah, you guys check it out if you already did. Let me know how you feel about it down in the comments. 
The next book on the list is called The Self-Love Experiment by Shannon Kaiser. This book is about embracing self-love and transforming your life while learning to accept the parts of yourself you usually wouldn't. Um, like I said, I'm trying to get back into like my self-love, self-help books. And so I came across this one and people gave it great reviews, great ratings. And I was like, you know what? I just want to give it a read. And so I put it on a TBR list and I'm going to check it out. I hope you do too. The next book on the list is called The Death of Vivek Oji um, by uh, a cow. A cow I'm sorry, I always butcher her name. I know. A a quack a quack a quacky amazing. A tr okay. I'm sorry, I butchered her name. I know I did. But um it's a tragic read about an adventure through grief and loss, getting to see what that looks like from different perspectives about the main character in the book. Um she writes beautiful about tragedy i feel like i read um her book you made a full of death with your beauty and it was a little bit of tragedy in there the main character in that book her husband died and i just learned i just loved how she transformed that tragedy into a beautiful thing and it felt like relatable even though it was you know um a fictional story it still felt real for some and i love that about her writing so i'm definitely looking forward to diving in to this book and figuring out what it's about but yeah let me know if you checked it out already the next book on my tbr list is assist don't settle um how to stay smart in the matters of the heart by faith jenkins it's a book about navigating it's a book about navigating and guidance into standing in your power and taking back your power while single, taken, freshly divorced, or whatever the case may be, situationship, whatever. Um, like I said, I'm trying to get him back into my self-love books, my self-help um, books, and I was like, okay, I've been single for a while, ready to start dating, but I feel like I could use a good read surrounding that. I usually don't read stuff like that, but I was like, let me give it a try. So it's definitely on the to be our list. The next book on the list is called Uncomfortable Conversations with a Black Boy by Emmanuel Echo. Um, this book is about racial issues. The author is basically encouraging folks to have the uncomfortable conversations so we can move forward being more knowledgeable about each other's situations. Um, this is interesting to me. I like reading stuff like this. I like when the author can educate other people and talk about the hard things because a lot of time people can't. And so it, it was interesting to me and I was like, let me just go ahead. The title itself just made, made drew me in and made me want to read it. So I added it to my TBR list. The next book on that list is 30 Things I Love By Myself by Radhika Sanchani. Um, I'm sorry if I butchered these people's names, but it's about a woman who decides to go on a journey of self-love after a crazy night in jail. And it's about learning to navigate family, friends, and career, um, and learning to re-love them. This woman, the main character in this book is, uh, turning 30 and she's going through a battle with herself. And like I said, I love books when the main characters are like in their thirties or entering their thirties, because it gives me a different perspective. I'm not there yet, but I will be in about five years. So I don't know. I just like reading stuff like that. I feel like it gives me a little comfort. It gives me a little heads up, but also it just lets me know, like even women in their thirties be going through the, some of the stuff that we're going through now. So I'm excited to read that. The next book on the list and the last one is called Honey and Spice by by Balu Babalola. Um, this book is about two people who make a fake relationship but end up actually falling for each other. This book has romance, excitement, great friendship, and also a journey to accepting things for what they are despite previous mindsets. It's all about love and romance, friendship, and community. Um, I love freaking Balu's books like I've read one of her books before I was drawn in I loved it and so I'm looking forward to reading this this book was actually recommended to me um a while ago and I still hadn't had it so I just put it on my TBR list but I actually am interested in getting to see what this is like because the way people was like reviewing it and explaining it made it so exciting so I want to get into it for sure but yes so 
for now that is all i'm going to share with y'all those are 10 books on my tbr list i have more to come so if you guys want to know what else is on my tbr list please let me know down in the comments let me know what's on your tbr list if you have any recommendations and let me know if you read any of the books that i stated and let me know what you were rated from like one to ten or one to five i guess because we only do five stars in a reading world <laughs> but thank you for tuning in today's videos guys go ahead and give this video a like so it can get to like-minded people and go ahead and head and subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you know every time that i post i look forward to seeing you guys soon hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you next time bye <laughs>